been a hot minute since I've had my vlogging gear out. Wow. This is what I'm talking about when I stay vlogging gear. This camera setup. I'm in Costa Rica. I am here for work. Um, so by the time that you guys watch this, you would have seen a couple day in the lives. The last video that you guys would have just watched would have been the day where I had 10 meetings back to back. You only live once. You only live once. You only live once. crazy day. So right now I'm doing a lot of traveling for work and then I'm back in Vancouver for a few days running my business, uh, checking in with the team. It's pretty hardcore and uh, I'll tell you guys soon why I'm doing so much traveling but for now I just wanted to bring you guys along with me um, on this journey while I'm in Costa Rica because I thought that would be kind of a fun vlog. And what I love about vlogging like this is um, there's definitely a much more intimate feeling with me and you. There's something about actually physically holding the camera and talking to you that, uh, I don't know, it's just more intimate. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Oh shit, I'm not recording. I think that was recording. Just getting used to the vlogging gear again because it's been so long. Okay, so it's Saturday morning in Costa Rica. I just woke up. Now I'm gonna go and find a gym so I can try to stay on my morning routine and my workout routine as much as possible. It's been about six months that I've been doing this and uh, I really, really want to try to maintain it. I actually can't believe it's already been six months. It's flown by already. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee here, take in a little bit more of this view. I'll connect with you guys after the gym, okay? Costa Rica. Hello from Costa Rica. It's 11 here in Costa Rica. The daylight savings just happened and so it is 10, almost 10 a.m. in Vancouver. Um, I've had a great few days in Costa Rica so far. It was really, really great to get off of the resort and go explore Liberia a little bit. But I am staying at Planet Hollywood in Guanacaste. So it's about, I want to say about 45 minutes away from Liberia, from the airport. Now, Planet Hollywood might seem like an unusual selection of a place to stay, especially being in a place like Costa Rica. One of the charms of Costa Rica is that people come down here to surf, they come down here for beach, they come down here for 
the amazing landscape that is Costa Rica, but I'm being put up in a resort. This isn't a vacation, so it's kind of nice to have all the amenities around. Like, it's nice to have a really nice room, different options of places to eat. I don't know about you guys, but when I travel for work, I still want to be able to eat healthy, I want to be able to go to the gym, I want to be able to maintain as much of a normal routine as I possibly can. It's hard to do that when you're traveling, but I like to try. And um, I thought I'd do a room tour for you guys. So I've got a little balcony that looks out onto the ocean. There's palm trees, you can kind of see them off in a distance there. And then there's all these flat top trees too that I really love. I've got a nice big king size bed, my little living room area. Just got these shorts from American Eagle. I'm telling you guys this because typically I hate wearing shorts. They have so much stretch in them and they're sort of this like mid-length. So yeah, these, these have been good. Just wanted to tell you guys that. Got a little desk area with coffee machine, which I use every morning. Across from my bed, there is a TV, which I have not turned on once yet. So around the corner here, you can kind of see, they've got this long hallway where there's a closet. I've got a bunch of clothes that are hanging here, a toilet room on the end, and then over on the other side, they have a nice walk-in shower. I actually think that this is a really, really efficient use of space. I really like the way they've laid this out. I really love being in these suites that have sort of the double vanity. There's lots of room for all my makeup and cosmetics, all my typical hair stuff. Kind of need everything when you're traveling for work, especially to hot destinations, right? You don't want to get a sunburn, don't want to be uncomfortable. Tip for you guys if you're traveling for work, I mean, I do, I'm sort of learning, learning as I go here because I've never been in a position where I have been traveling so much for work and been in and out of Vancouver. But one of the things that I'm trying to do is as soon as I check in, I try to get myself really settled. So like unpack, organize everything, lay everything out so that um, I don't feel like I'm getting too much outside of my routine. It's tough, it, it's tough, it's hard. You have to be very diligent about it in order to make it work. But um, I'm learning as I go and so I'm just sharing that with you guys. What I'm gonna do now is jump on the phone with some of my team members because it's 10 o'clock on Monday, so I'm gonna check in with my team. Other phone calls like bank call, I'm gonna do some social media, I'm gonna answer some emails, stuff like that. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> it's Wednesday. I had a really good sleep. Oh my gosh. I needed that because yesterday I had such a long, full work day. Definitely feels like I've been working, you know, seven days a week lately. So it, it, this is a lifestyle more than it is a job. That's for sure. I did want to mention to you guys that my favorite thing in life right now, my favorite thing, especially when I'm traveling to these destinations and I have a bed and a view, it's blown out right now, but is to get up really early, make a coffee in my room, open the curtains, then jump back into bed and watch the sunrise. That is like my favorite favorite thing in life right now and I feel like every time I do that it really just sets a good tone for the day. I guess I just wanted to tell you guys that because I really am into just appreciating the moment and really savoring the moment. So watching a sunrise represents that for me. It's really about being grateful. And when I first wake up in the morning, I try not to jump on my phone immediately. I usually like to go to the gym and meditate, um, or if I am going to be on my technology, it's because I'm journaling, but for no other reason. And um, yeah, right now I'm definitely finding it a little bit challenging to maintain that routine. 
especially when I'm traveling so much and especially when I'm not going to bed every night at the same time or waking up at the same time. So it's a little bit of a challenge. I don't know if any of you guys have mastered your morning routine and your nighttime routine and a sense of consistency, hit me up and leave me a comment below and give me some advice because I could definitely um, use a couple tips. So I'm just waiting for coffee to show up to the room before I get going. And then um, I'm gonna see if I can do a little bit of a spa appointment. I would love to do some hydrotherapy this morning, um, maybe a sauna and just sort of cleanse and relax a little bit. Well, the coffee has not come to me, so I'm gonna go to it. <laughs> Great thing about staying in an all-inclusive is that you can get anything, anywhere, any time of day. So I'm on the hunt for some coffee. Back in the room, I've got my coffee. I get a double espresso over ice, and then I put a little bit of um, ice cream, soft serve ice cream in my coffee. It's really good, because they don't have cream in Costa Rica. And you guys know that I love eating cream, or drinking cream, sorry, in my coffee. My gosh, I have no idea if this vlog is at all interesting to you guys. See, it's so funny, because as I'm going up on my way to the coffee shop, I run into the art director that I'm working with and then we end up grabbing coffees together and we're chatting about the work that we're doing here in Costa Rica and then we end up having like a little mini meeting kind of on the fly. Oh. I forget about the vlog and now I'm back in my room and I reconnect with you guys. This is kind of how the days go <laughs> when I'm away traveling and working. So I'm just trying to give you guys sort of like a real authentic look at what I am doing and this is what it is. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning here in Costa Rica. So I've got a little confession that I want to make with you guys. I am trying to do this Costa Rican vlog. As you can tell, I am back in my hotel room. And the challenge is that because I'm here working, as glamorous as this seems, being here in Costa Rica, I mean, it's I have a beautiful view, the weather is warm. I still have to deal with the ins and outs of running a small business. So yesterday morning, for example, um, I got the news that another team member is moving on to other things, which is kind of expected when you have a small business. People come and go, people don't stay all the time. Um, staff retention is something that I'm always, always trying to deal with. Um, on the flip side of somebody leaving, the good news is that we have actually hired two new people. So two new people have joined the House of Bond team. Um, something that's really exciting too is that my studio manager has been taking care of all of the HR. So she's interviewed and hired and put together the employee contracts and she's onboarding the new people. So that is really exciting that that kind of stuff is happening at my company while I'm away. And uh, I gotta get ready for my day. So I'm gonna do that. Every single day just stays the same. I don't really care and it's a shame. Makeup is done, hair is done. I am wearing a really cute striped Aritzia t-shirt. Shorts that are from American Apparel. Lucy's on. These are literally like my favorite, favorite shoes right now. Got one bar of battery left, which really, really sucks. But I have a car that's picking me up in about mm, 45 minutes. That gives me just enough time to head up to the lobby. I'm gonna have a coffee and I'm gonna do a work call. Wouldn't you know it? So I'm gonna jump on a call with a client while I wait for my car to show up. So that's the game plan. More work. <laughs> I'm color, I have two, I really like white and... Mm, maybe? No, <laughs> like a turkey. Too dark. Like a teal? Oh, like a teal. Nice. That's scary. Good morning. 